Hi, my name is Ula, and this is a video for our supermarket tour. This is Chris. We're going to be talking about the aesthetics of produce in relation to the grading system and how it contributes to food waste. When we visited the Loblaws on Young and Carlton, we observed how shiny the various produce are on the shelves. This is because of the wax that is present on the produce. We normally associate the shininess and beauty of produce with its quality. This is a major misconception concerning all the unnatural elements that give it this appearance. This includes the wax, color, and chemicals, as well as other factors such as lighting and placement. As you can see on this picture, fungicides as well as a shellac-based coating and vegetable wax are present on these oranges. <coughs> Produce that appears low quality won't make it to the grocery store. For example, the Canadian Food Inspection Agency regulates the grading of number one peaches. They must meet strict color and sizing tests and be free of, from any physical defect. If even 10% of a batch of peaches has defects, the whole batch will not be introduced to the market. Now we're going to show you a clip of a video by John Oliver about what happens when a peach is given a grade two rating rather than the aesthetically pleasing grade one rating. This is a number two peach and that is an abomination unto the Lord. <laughs> and as soon as it is labeled a number two, it can lose two thirds of its market value to a farmer, even though its contents are the same. And many retailers have standards even more strict than the USDA's, all of which is why so many peaches end up being thrown on the ground to rot. And that should not be how we treat our fruit. This shows how people tend to choose the most aesthetically looking produce. Consumers tend to avoid produce that may not be as symmetrical or picture perfect because we are brainwashed to think that a certain fruit must have one shape. For example, red delicious apples can typically only have one shape. It must be shiny and it must be vibrant red. You'll notice that there are large quantities of produce at the supermarket. Humans are drawn to what encourages them to pro purchase those produce. Compared to commercial produce, organics have a smaller section which holds less quantity. This lack of abundance discourages consumers to purchase those organic produce. There are also a difference between the produce themselves. Commercial produce are more plump, are larger, shinier, and more visually appealing as if the commercial item is a photoshopped version of the organic item in its natural unmodified state. This is a huge issue when we're talking about commercial versus organic produce. Organic products tend to be smaller in size and generally less vibrant in color. We've conducted an experiment to test the shelf life of an organic zucchini and a commercial zucchini. When placed both zucchini in the fridge, we found that the organic zucchini began to spoil within a week. However, the commercial zucchini did not spoil at all and maintained its shape and color three weeks in. Changes in the physical appearance start to show around week three. This shows the impact of the wax and other chemicals that are meant to preserve produce. This organic fruit and vegetables are meant to have a short shelf life because they're considered to be chemical free and completely natural. This experiment reveals the impacts of preservative ingredients on commercial produce. This should concern the average consumer because they are under the impression that they are eating raw, healthy foods, yet they are unaware of the long-term impacts. In addition to the aesthetic of the produce, we found some interesting information about the importance of when it comes to fruit and vegetables. You'll notice that there are always nicely cut fruits in the produce section. Because these items are near their expiration date, they are selected to be cut and sold as fruits and vegetables on the go or in serving platters. This extends the profitability window for the store. The average consumer doesn't get to see what the produce looks like before it is chopped up. But the consum consumer is under the impression that it obtains the aesthetic of the produce that is sold as a whole. This is a great idea because it reduces the amount of food waste that is typically created by grocery stores because the standards of aesthetics just aren't as high as in this case. This also applies to juicing. As lo at Loblaws, they have this huge juicing section. For both of these, they tend to use the uglier fruits and vegetables. The reasoning behind this is that the consumer will never know what the produce originally looked like. This concludes our presentation. I hope that you've enjoyed our tour and thank you for listening.